Now let's have some fun by doing work in paint. Starting paint. You all must be knowing well, but for revision, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on Start button. Step 2. Click on All programs. Step 3. Click on Accessories. Step 4. Click on Paint. The paint program will appear on your computer screen. Tools in Paint. Remember the tools you have learned till now? Just have a look over it. Pencil tool. It is used to draw straight, wavy and curved lines. Eraser tool. It is used to rub the drawings or shapes. Brush tool. It is used to draw freehand lines of different styles. Line tool. It is used to draw lines of different thickness and length. Rectangle tool. It is used to draw boxes and squares with different borders. Circle tool. It is used to draw circle and oval of any size. Rounded rectangle tool. It is used to draw rounded rectangle. Polygon tool. It is used to draw triangle or other shapes. Curve tool. It is used to draw curves. Text tool. It is used to write in paint. Select tool. It is used to move the object from one place to another in paint window. It is also used to select the drawing. Paint environment. Old version paint. New version paint. Now all the items are at the top of the window. Let's have a look towards the different components of a new paint window. Drawing area, paint button, quick access toolbar, tabs, quick access toolbar. On the left side of the title bar, there is a small bar that contains the buttons like save, undo, redo, etc. Paint button. Paint button is located on the left side and below the quick access toolbar. When you click on this button, a menu will appear. In this menu, you can open a new or existing image. Save an image, print, acquire an image from a scanner or camera. Send an image in email, set as desktop background the current image. See the properties of the current image and exit paint. Tabs In the paint program, home and view are the two tabs. In the home tab, you will see all editing tools that you will work with. Paste, cut, copy, selection, different selections, crop, resize and skew, Rotate or Flip, Pencil, Eraser, Fill with Color, Color Picker, Text, Magnifier, Brushes, Different Brushes, Different Shapes, Shape Outline, Shape Fill, Size, Different Line Sizes, Foreground Color, Background Color, Color Palette, Edit Color. In the View tab, you will get Zoom In or Out, Full Screen Mode, Rulers, Grid Lines, Thumbnail, etc. options. Zoom In, Zoom Out, 100% Fit, Rulers, Status Bar, Guidelines, Full Screen, Thumbnail Color Palette It is a part of the Home tab which is used to select the color you want to work with. Background Color Active Color Foreground Color The Color 1 box on the left side shows the active colors or foreground color. 
To change the foreground color, click on color 1 box and then click on the desired color in the color palette. The color 2 box is the background color. The background color is the default color of any new image that you create. To change the background color, click on color 2 box and then click on the desired color in the color palette. Now we will study about some more features of paint one by one. Resize an image. Resize command is used to change the size of the drawing by making it narrower, wider, taller or shorter. 1. Click on Home tab. 2. Click on Select. 3. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it. 4. Click on Resize. Resize and Skew dialog box appear. 5. Select the Maintain Aspect Ratio checkbox. 6. Select the Radio button of Pixels. 7. Type the horizontal value, width or vertical value, height. 8. Click on OK. The new size of the image appears. Skew an image. This feature is just similar to resize, but through this feature, the drawing gets stretched from one end while the other end remains fixed. 1. Click on Home tab. 2. Click on Select. 3. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it. 4. Click on Resize. Resize and Skew dialog box appears. 5. Type the amount of skew in the horizontal and vertical boxes. 6. Click on OK. The skew of the image appears. Flip and Rotate By using Flip feature, you can create the mirror image of your drawing either horizontally or vertically. Whereas, through Rotate feature, you can change the position of your drawing at different angles. To flip or rotate the image, the steps are 1. Click on Home tab 2. Click on Select 3. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it 4. Click on Rotate Rotate and Flip options appear 5. Click on Rotation direction you want For example, 90 degree, 160 degree, 270 degree the image rotates. In this example, the image rotates 90 degree left. Zoom tool. The zoom tool is also called magnifying tool which is used to get the closer and bigger look of your drawing. You can also press Ctrl plus page up to zoom in the image. You can press Ctrl plus page down to zoom out the image or to bring the image to the original size. 1. Click on View tab. 2. Click on the following options. Click on Zoom in to increase the zoom level. Click on Zoom out to reduce the zoom level. Click on 100% to see the actual size of the image. The image appears according to the option you have selected. In this example, we have chosen Zoom In option. Crop Image You can use Crop feature to clear the unwanted image from the drawing area. To clear the image, first you have to select the image or part of it. The steps are 1. Click on Home tab 2. Click on Select 3. Select the part of the image you want to see. 4. Click on Crop. Only the selected part of the image appears. Copy and Paste Copy and Paste feature is used to make the duplicate image of your drawing at another place in your drawing area. To copy and paste the image from one place to another, the steps are 1. Click on Home tab 2. Click on Select 
3. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it. 4. Click on Copy. Do you know? You can press Ctrl plus C from keyboard to copy. 5. Click on Paste. The duplicate image will appear in the drawing area. 6. Now place the mouse pointer on the selected image and drag it to anywhere in drawing area. Do you know? You can press Ctrl plus V from keyboard to paste. Cut and paste. Cut and paste feature is used to delete the drawing from its original place and paste it to another place. To cut and paste the drawing, the steps are 1. Click on Home tab. 2. Click on Select. 3. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it. 4. Click on Cut. The image will disappear from the paint window. Now, open the drawing area where you want to place the image. 5. Click on Paste. The image will appear in the drawing area. Do you know? You can press Ctrl plus X from keyboard to cut. Save your image. After finishing your drawing, you should save it. Saving the image will enable you to use it in future. To save your drawing, the steps are 1. Click on Paint button. Paint menu will appear. 2. Click on Save option. The Save as dialog box appears. 3. Type the name for the image in file name text box. 4. Click on Save to save your image. Let us revise. Paint is a program used to draw shapes and figures using different tools provided by it. Paint also provides different features through which you can change the look of the drawing. Resize and skew features change the shape of your drawing by making it narrower, wider, taller and shorter. Flip feature creates the mirror image of your drawing. Rotate feature changes the direction of your drawing at different angles. Zoom tool shows the closer and bigger look of your drawing. Copy or paste gives the duplicate image of the drawing at another place in drawing area. Cut or paste is used to delete the image from one place and paste it 